so let us start today our topic html forms to make via tables uh i hope this form is visible to everybody all right uh, in this form you can see i have taken three text box then i have taken the combo box right so uh, i give you few seconds to have a view of this form so that i can start the coding in the notepad now here if we see carefully the text and the box they are in the same line yesterday what i discussed with you people text was in one line the box to enter the input was in other line right clear so you have to see the design and the structure of the form very carefully then accordingly you have to manage the coding right let us start the i just minimize this page and i start the coding in the notepad my first tag is uh, html tag followed by the body tag then form tag here i take h1 now i start here the table tag but i am not taking the border attribute i will be arranging the data in the table but i am not taking the border attribute over here so my first row tr and inside the first row my first cell email id i close my first cell then in the same row second cell first row first cell first row second cell i am taking input tag i am giving name to my box let the name be box 1 and i am closing my td and uh, here i am closing my tr okay fine am i clear up till here beta okay divanshi ashmit himanshu am i clear up till here now here i am taking the second row and inside the second row i am taking password now here i am taking input tag my input control this time will be password my input control now will be password and i am giving the name pass clear i am closing my td and i am closing my second row so up till now i have designed this much portion the portion which i have shaded this much portion i have designed am i clear up till here everybody
Gurjot, Arshdeep, Naman Sangar. Am I clear? Amit Kalra, Nalin, Kashish, Anjali, Sanya. Am I clear to all of you, Bete? All right. Now, proceeding to the next row. Here I am taking age. I am taking the input type equal to text and name equal to box to and uh, I close my TR over here. Now in the next structure, you see I have created the combo box, text in one line and box in the separate line. So uh, up till here, now I close my table tag. Now here I apply BR and I start the combo box. When you are to create the combo box, you take select tag. Inside the select tag, you take the name attribute. When you are not taking the size or the multiple attribute of select tag, it will create combo box by default. But when you are taking the size or the multiple attribute inside the select tag, that will create the list box, right? When only name attribute has been taken, no size or multiple, then it is treated as combo box by default. So what is the use of select tag? Select tag is used to create the combo or the list box that is used to take the input from the user. Right, you have to select from the given choice your appropriate desired choice. So I am taking the name attribute here and I am giving the name box. Now here I am taking the option tag. The number of options you want in the combo box, accordingly you take the option tag. So here I am taking the value. My first value is commerce. I close the option tag. I am taking the second value, medical. I am closing my option tag, right? And uh, for the third value, I just copy paste the data. Here I'm taking non-medical. Right. And uh, my last option will be arts. Clear. So finally here I close my select tag. Now, uh, here I close my form tag. Here I close the body. And finally, I close the HTML tag. Right? I save my web page with the name form revision lecture dot HTML. Right? So I just show the browser view to you people. Uh, my browser view is here. See, I just increase the zoom level so that you can see it carefully. 
see the browser view is it visible clearly online students is it visible himanshu ashmit now see the setting of the box and the text because uh, i have enclosed this whole structure this much structure the shaded portion i have enclosed within the table tag but remember don't take border attribute just to make the setting properly right and this is my combo box i am i can select any one option from here whichever option you like right now it is a combo box you can select only one option clear now uh, suppose i am writing here the attribute size and i am giving 3 now it will be a list box i have taken the size attribute and i have given the value 3 see here only 3 values will be visible no doubt there are 4 values but visible will be 3 right Am I clear up till here? 